Before COVID-19 hit in 2020, electronics dealer Anthony Aguasianya used to travel to China to buy the goods he sells in his store in Lagos. But he says he's not set foot in China for the past two years. And it's all down to COVID-19-induced travel restrictions, which he says have impacted some aspects of his business. COVID-19 may make us not to travel. You can not travel, and um, in that case, there's no way you can relate with them directly and tell them what you don't want or what you want, or tell them this, the, the, the problem you are facing in business or in their product. That's one. Secondly is sales. It affected our sales. Thirdly is inflection. Because most of the factory complain about lack of raw materials. So most of the things that you give them, they are, we are unable to produce. And the little that is, in, 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 is available, the price has to rise. Unable to travel to China for business, Abbasianya says he now places orders for goods via email and makes wire transfers before he gets his supplies. He says he would like to see travel restrictions imposed due to the COVID-19 pandemic relaxed so that he can travel and engage his suppliers in China face to face. It's good to once in a while, let's say once in a year or twice in a year, you visit the factory that produces for you and see some new products and some new development and make changes. With the continued easing of COVID-19 restrictions, trade between China and Nigeria is now picking up. Last year, Nigeria imported goods worth $23 billion from China, which was the highest on the continent. The trade is just like trying to resume, try to regain the strength and losses from COVID-19. We are just like beginning afresh. You know, somebody that closed up business for like almost a year, you know, normally the person is like out of business. So we're just picking, we're just picking. And I believe with time, things will come to normal. The COVID-19 pandemic has no doubt slowed trade between China and Nigeria. But as the pandemic recedes and restrictions are removed, things are coming back to normal. And it may not be too long before Basianya is able to travel to China to meet with his suppliers. DG Bademosi, CGTN, Lagos, Nigeria.